Hi guys, next exit adventures on a New Year's Eve road trip from Muldura to Cameron's Corner. Going to break the video into a few sections, so the part one will be Muldura to Packsaddle. On the map on the screen, you can see our journey to Cameron's Corner. Um, the stopping at Packsaddle, we had an overnight in Broken Hill. Quite cool and rainy conditions when we left home. Um, closer we got to Cameron's Corner, the hotter it got. Uh, this is just the Abbots Bridge in Muldura, just to give you an idea of the, uh, the water level still. Even though the floods have peaked and the water is receding, um, there's still plenty of water around. There's not that much of a clearance below the bridge to the water level. Normally you can fit, you know, double storey houseboat under there easily. Um, don't think you'd fit any houseboats at all under there still currently. It's coming into Wentworth. You can see uh, still a fair amount of water on the left hand side of the road. As we get closer to Wentworth you can see it on the right hand side of the road as well. Just coming into picture there a little bit. Still a lot of water around. So camping locally is uh, Still out of the question and will be for some time. Flood waters are uh, made their way to South Australia. Um, Renmark has just had their peak, I believe, so it's just going to make its way slowly out to Lake Alexandrina and uh, out into the salt water. So this is just coming into, um, into Wentworth. first bridge is actually a creek, not the Darling River yet. On the left hand side there you can see that that, that park, it's normally a park area where the, um, the paddle boat's moored. It's all well and truly underwater still. So even though the peak has come and gone there's still a lot of water around. And Wentworth will be, uh, it'll have a high river. It's the, it just evacuated Menindi actually. Um, this morning by 10 o'clock all the residents were told to leave so there's still a, uh, a lot of water yet to come down the Darling River which will keep Wentworth high for quite a few weeks going through the township of Wentworth and heading, heading up the Silver City Highway towards Broken Hill Just on the outskirts of Wentworth, on the Broken Hill side. Um, again, a lot of water either side of the highway. That's um, flood water from the Darling. It's not rain water laying on the side of the road, it's actually water that's come up to the road from the rivers. Very rare sight. Next stop will be uh, Bunurundji Bridge for the Abbey Nets. <laughs> Where's he coming? Oh, Look at that sexy body getting in the water. He's getting in the water. <laughs> These guys will be laughing at you. <laughs> Out you go, babe. Don't drown. Don't think I'm coming out and passing them to you. Oh, that's the park underneath the bloody bridge. Yeah, well, that's where we parked last time, underneath the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are at the Bunurundji Bridge on the Great Darling Inner Branch. Beautiful day to swim. Got the abbey net in. 
no good so far, but We have an order at the Broken Hill Caravan Park, the one next to the cemetery. Um, three Oz tracks in a row, plus another one down the park and another one in town that we know of. So there's five Oz tracks in town in Broken Hill. Pretty rare sight. Google Maps did us a bit of a mischief, but uh, backtracked and got back onto the bitumen. Okay, the crew now. All right, pack saddle. I think about 170 kilometers to Tipperborough from here. We've just stopped to come and have a bevo. <laughs> Chips at the back saddle farm. <laughs> just a bit of a walk around of the pack saddle pub. If you're coming past, make sure you call in. Bit of a unique pub as a lot of these outback pubs are. Well worth the stop. Beer's nice and cold. Okay guys, part two will be pack saddle to Cameron's Corner with an overnighter at Tipperborough. We'll uh, catch you then. Enjoy, stay safe.